back to my channel, Shy Tone Girl here. I hope everyone's doing well. Yes, I am sitting here with no makeup, in my pajamas, on the couch, just keeping it real. I disappeared again, my bad. Um, it's been a horrible week. I won't get into too a lot of details. Um, I did find out a little bit of information on what's going on with my insides. Um, I came out of the hospital yesterday, so I'm behind again. So please bear with me. I'm trying to catch up on um, voicemails, emails, texts, um, all kinds of correspondence with everybody. But I did want to get back in front of all of you. I cannot sit here and say that I'm 100% because I'm really not. I am emotionally, physically, mentally just kaput. Um, but I needed to get myself back on screen in front of all of you because I think it's important that when I have this channel, besides doing just Dollar Tree hauls and all the other things, you guys, you know, want to see all different sides of me. Probably not the real, real bad stuff, but we all just have days that are just crappy. I mean, let's face it. I've just had the past couple years, you know, losing my mom. Um, just other stuff going around, health issues. There's just so much going on, and I don't even know where to begin. Um, as I've mentioned before, that doing these videos is such therapy. Um, it helps me. And I even said to the nurse yesterday um, when I was finally getting released, and I said, man, I'm, I said, I'm having Dollar Tree withdrawals. And she started laughing, and um, I told her about my channel and everything. And so she said she was going to subscribe and watch, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, her name was Michelle, by the way, and she lives fairly close to my area. She's a, um, a nurse at the hospital that I was in. But anyways, couldn't wait to get back in front of all of you. And I do want to say thank you so much to every single one of you that reached out and said, Beth, where are you? What's wrong? What's going on? Um, please know that if I just disappear like that, something's usually up. Um, it's not like I would ever just like disappear and not say anything to anybody because that's not me at all. Um, so this is what's going on. I'm trying to keep it real. There's nothing fancy here at any point. I'm sitting here drinking a cup of tea out of my cup today is caffeine queen and I'm actually drinking tea. Um, I actually had my first meal today, well, kind of like a half a meal between yesterday and today. Um, the first thing I've been able to keep inside since last Sunday when I got sick. So it's been, oy vey, it, it's been a tough haul for me. But um, like I said, I wanted to catch up with all of you, regardless if I got makeup on or not. This is me. This is what I'm doing right now in the family room on a Friday at about 7.30 at night, and I am actually got it on in the background over here because I just love that movie to death. Um, but I do have some stuff here I want to share with you. This is kind of a random mix-up. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You have probably all seen every single thing I have here in my bag, but you know what? These were the items that I collected right before I went back in the hospital, um, and I just didn't get a chance to show all of you, so they've been sitting here for like a week. Um... You've probably seen almost everything I have to show you, but even if you have, that's okay. I still need to show it anyways. Okay, let's start with. So this is going to be basically some stuff that I picked up at Dollar Tree, and this was picked up last week, um, Saturday. Two of the Jiffy Foil Pie Pan and Lids. These are the 9-inch, and these are really nice. i would never seen these before. What's nice about these is, especially with the holidays coming, these have the lids that pop on. And you know what? Just because it says it's for a pie pan doesn't mean that's what you have to use it for. They do snap on rather nicely. So I thought, you know, this is nice even if you wanted to serve up a big turkey dinner in here. Perfect. So I did pick up two. This was the first time I'd ever seen these ones in my store. And I think, you know, when you can get something for a dollar and then get the lid with it. And like I said, this wasn't real flimsy. This has... Now I'm trying to get it back out of the package. Um... This was pretty thick, in my opinion. I'll show you there. I feel that there, there's some pretty good thickness there, but that's just my opinion. Okay, moving on. All righty, let me just, I don't normally throw a bag here in front of all of you, but let's see what we can get done here. I did find some new fake masks, which I was really thrilled about. I did get several, so let me just pull them all out of the bag here. Like I said, I'm really disorganized here. So totally not me, but I just... I'm so exhausted. I am just so tired of being poked and pinched and 
told my blood pressure is too high. I'm like, well, gee, you wonder why? You wonder why? Okay, the first ones I found are new Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin. This one is impurity fighting DIY powder to clay mask. So it's actually, you mix it up in the tray. Here's what it looks like on the backside. I know the lighting is not the best here and I apologize for that. I'm in a room that I'm not normally in and it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, but you do get the little mask, you get the tray, you get the scoop. So I'm excited to see what that one's gonna be. And, then, and actually I grabbed a couple that I thought were the same, but they're not the same. This one says, um, yes to cucumber, soothing, calming, sleeping mask. I've never seen sleeping masks before. I know nothing about them. I've never used one before, but thought that was kind of interesting. And then they also had this new yes to cucumbers. And this one is also a powder to clay mix. So this is two different versions of this one here. So I really wasn't aware of that until just a few moments ago. So I'm glad I grabbed what I grabbed. So there's the two versions of that. And let me just double check myself here. Okay, so I have a mishmash here. Um, I really probably wasn't paying attention when I was shopping and I, and I should be paying attention. I'm too busy going, you know, wondering what I'm gonna miss. This other one is Yes to Coconut, Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer Powder to Clay Mask. So this is another one. So I ended up with two of these. And most likely I'll be doing one and then doing like a DIY, a DIY on it. Yeah. Do it yourself mask. Right, Beth. I'm not editing. I'm keeping it real. I will do a review on them. And the most likely these duplicates that I have will be going in a giveaway bag. And speaking of giveaways, the past four giveaways, absolutely nobody has claimed. So I'm thinking about trying to do something a little bit different. Um... I don't know. We'll see. Something new coming up for the new year as far as giveaways go. But there are two new giveaways coming up. And hopefully you guys are paying attention and reading the comments. That's all I'm going to say. The next one here is Yes to Grapefruit. Vitamin C Boosting Sleeping Mask. This one I also picked up two in. Didn't realize it. I thought they were different. So another one of these will be ending up in a giveaway at some point. Last but not least, and I think this was one I showed you, the very first one I showed you. No. Um, this one is a charcoal detoxifying mask um, that you mix up. So this one should be pretty cool. I think my, this one might be the first one that I try. So what great little gifts. Perfect for stocking stuffers. Um, you know, you could even pop some of these into a Christmas card with a couple of bucks for somebody. You know, completely up to you, but I thought for that price, you really can't go wrong. I don't do a lot of face masks, but the few I have done, they felt pretty good afterwards. So I thought, you know what? Why not? Okay, I'm just ripping random stuff here out of the bag. Okay, so the next thing I found were these plastic, and they're really adorable. And what you're seeing on the inside is just a little piece of foam, so I'm going to take that out. These adorable little plastic bags that are like rounded on the ends. Perfect for pencils. It says cosmetic bag, but you know what? You can use it for anything that you want. And I don't have my ruler here, and I know probably some of you are going, yay, I hate that thing. And then there's another half of you that like it. So I try to give everybody just a little bit of everything. I cannot please everybody, and I'm not going to try. Um, but I, I tell you... <laughs> I've had a lot of feedback on the ruler. Okay, so these are about six inches by three inches. I purchased two in the Flamingos. And then this one here, I'm not sure how well it's gonna come up on camera, but let me take the um, foamy stuff out of here. This is actually a clear bag, and inside this one, it has pineapples all around it, all around the outsides. I'm hoping that you can see that. It's kind of mushed up because it was in the bag, so my bad for that. Kalua's coming over here. She's like, what you got, Mom? I hear something. So there's all the little pineapples. Another great stocking stuffer idea. Um, put a couple cosmetics in there. Perfect for doing something like that. Absolutely perfect. Okay, these next couple of items have absolutely nothing to do with the Dollar Tree. Um, that's why I listed this as being like a little bit random, you know, Dollar Tree. Um, these few items I picked up at a store that's called Rite Aid. Now, I know that we don't have them back in Chicago. I'm not sure exactly where they are all over the world, but they're here on the East Coast. And a Rite Aid is similar to like a Walgreens, a CVS. 
back home in Chicago, it's considered um, like an um, Osco, something like that, okay? So these, I was really excited to find. I actually found most of one of the sets. Whoops, I just whacked the lamp. Um, let me share with you. I picked these up a while ago and I just didn't have a chance to show all of you. I'm gonna show one of each kind, okay. These are made by Lip Smackers, and I know that these are so hot to trot right now. I've seen them on eBay. I've seen them on Amazon. I can't believe what people pay for stuff. It's amazing. I paid regular price. In fact, I got them. It was buy one, get one half off, and I had a coupon, so I really did get a lot of bang for my buck. What these are, this is done by Lip Smackers. These are 0 0.26 ounce. They are done in different flavors. This one is cutesy cutesy let me bring it in nice and close can you see the different oranges and yellows absolutely adorable this is the front of the package and there's the back there was four in a set the next one here this one is cinnamon there's the front i'm so loving these and i know quite a few people that would absolutely probably adore these as well the next one is done in like a bluish color. They're all 0 0.26 ounce. This one is hot chocolate. I think this is probably most of popular one out of the four from what I've seen. And then there's the back side. So what they do is they flip up and then your gloss is right here. And last but not least in the set is pumpkin brulee. And there is that one done in really nice peach and orange. And then there's the back side. Again, these are from Rite Aid, not. Please don't go to Dollar Tree be looking for these because I don't think you're going to find them. It'd be great to. And then I did end up getting an extra to go in towards a giveaway. And then there was three in this set and I missed out and I can't find that which anywhere. And it's, um, who's the one I'm looking for? Well, this one here is Blackberry Magic flavored. Look at her. Is she wicked looking or what? She looks like me in the morning. Actually, she looks like me right now. And there's the back side. And your lip balm is inside here. You flip it up. The next one here is Wicked Grape. I think it's Cruella DeVille. That's who I'm missing, that biatch. Cruella DeVille. I'm missing her. I cannot find her. But I'll keep my eyes open. And then there's the back side. So I was super psyched to find these. Um, I am a Lip Smacker fan. Um, I enjoy them. I don't go crazy, crazy, but I do enjoy them. Okay. The other thing I wanted to share with you was a couple things I got at Walmart. I saw this cute, this was 98 cents. I saw this at Walmart and went, oh, how adorable is that? Isn't that cute? This is like one of those little mini gourds about three inches by three inches. But then on the bottom, it has this clip so you can clip it on. So I'm going to put it in the car. I need something to look at to make me smile. And this guy was purple, so I thought that was perfect. And then I had actually gone in there looking for a Halloween pail. So I found I came up with two because I couldn't pick which one I wanted. I originally went in for just one of those little orange buckets. This is what I what I <laughs> a purple plastic pumpkin. It was what? It was a buck at Walmart. I thought, how cute is that? I know it's not traditional orange, but who says you have to have orange? So I did get that, and then I, I couldn't pass this up. Look at this little baby one. It was 74 cents. I thought, I'm going to put some treats in it, and I know somebody that would just absolutely love to have that on their desk at work with some little treats in there, and I thought I'd put some ribbon on it and send it over to their office. Okay, besides that, oh, last but not least, the most important thing. I enjoy my sweets. <clears throat> these were new. I had never seen these before. These were at Rite Aid as well. They were um, $2.99. They're made by Russell Stover. They're toffee squares. Um, it's a six ounce package. Here's what the package looks like. And the expiration date is June 1st of 2019. I don't know if these are just new. I'm assuming they're out maybe for fall because there's like fall patterns. But I saw this package and my eyes went boing. I love my toffee, and I do love Russell Stover. And if I can open this package, show you guys what they look like. Ooh. So here's what the package looks like. That's a pretty good square, because there it is. That's the actual square of piece of candy. That's a big size. Actually, you know what? Let's check it out. Miss Kalu has given me the eye. 
Oh, I unfortunately can't have it right now because I, I just have to stay away at the moment. There's what it looks like. Let me break it open here. Oh, this is going to be hard to stay away from. Oh my goodness. I'm getting chocolate all over. Hold on. Let me try to open it this way. So I'll have to put it away for myself. I'll put it in the refrigerator. Okay. I just wanted you all to see. Ooh, baby, look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Yummy. Okay, everybody. Again, this was just a little bit of everything. I just wanted to catch up and let you all know that I'm here. <laughs> just bear with me until I can get back on my feet again 100%. Thank you all for your continued support. We do appreciate your wishes, Kalu and I. <laughs> and from us to all of you, thank you so much for your support. We look forward to seeing you next time. Any questions or comments, please hit me up down below. Please make sure to take care of yourself, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.